Hi guys. Okay. It's come to my attention I have not had a cooking instructional video in too long. So today we are going to learn how to make the single best creamed corn you have ever tasted in your entire life. And uh, I would like to thank Julia May Robertson, the late great Julia May Robertson from Atlanta, Georgia for teaching me how to do this about 50 years ago. And uh, Julia May Robertson taught Hambone the ultimate cream corn recipe. Okay, obviously you start with some fresh, the fresher your corn the better. Now, of course we're up here in New York and uh, as hard as I've been looking to find some uh, some all white corn. I haven't had too much luck. Now I would prefer to be using a an all white corn uh, such as Silver Queen. Silver Queen is my number one choice for uh, for cream corn. But we're gonna have to work with what we got. This is pretty good stuff. I don't know the name of this but I seem to be happy with it. So the first trick to get the full flavor of your cream corn is you literally cut down the middle of every row. You want a the sharper the knife the better and you just take the point of your knife and you literally cut down the middle of the kernel in every row to release all of the flavor. I know this sounds crazy, but it really does. It makes a big difference. The whole point is to release the flavor into the... Uh, it's almost some, I've heard this called corn chowder, but all it is, the only ingredients in this whole thing are corn, fresh corn, butter, half and half salt and pepper. You notice you will not hear the word sugar mentioned in, uh, in this recipe for the best cream corn you have ever eaten. There should be no sugar. Matter of fact, this yellow, this bicolored stuff is, is actually a little bit too sweet for me. Uh, if you can find some Silver Queen um, I've just been known to go out and just get what they call down south field corn. The corn that they feed their, uh, that they feed the cows. Uh, so, anyway, just do the best you can, but I would avoid that, you know, that candy corn stuff. And the main thing is do not add any sugar. So, of course, I only cook in cast iron. So what you do, so now every row is cut down the middle and then you simply take your knife and cut the tips off. So every every kernel of corn now has been cut in half and you just go down and you cut. You don't dig real deep into the cob. You just want to get the, the, the tender tips off. You'll find out in a minute. So, you know, what you're aiming for is, uh, you know, something like this is the end product. Is the tips of the corn and they've already been sliced down the middle. So you just go around the ear of corn. It really helps to have a sharp knife. Unbelievable how a sharp knife would make this go a little little quicker. So then what you have, okay, you are not nearly finished. So you have cut down the rows, you have cut the tips off, and then what you do, make sure this is coming out, you just use the edge of the cast iron frying pan and you and you take the ear of corn and you scrape it. Just go along and, and press down and scrape the ear of corn along the uh, 
along the edge of the frying pan do the top do the bottom and you're literally squeezing out all of the good stuff all of the all of the juicy stuff and the corn starch and whatnot so when you finish there should be nothing left I mean it should be a dry ear of corn and then in your pan is gonna is gonna look like this and uh, so there you go that is just one that is just one ear of corn now I've got 12 ears I'm making right now I will probably myself eat 12 ears of corn tonight this is some of the best stuff you've ever put in your mouth uh, I have been known to make 100 ears of corn so anyone coming to Sandy's party in New York will have some of Hambone's famous I'll probably make I'll probably make 50 or 60 ears of this at Sandy's party all right so now we're going to uh, oops I guess I need to raise my my tripod a little bit uh, we're going to show you just be quick and it is quick and easy we needed two tripods here all right how was that looking okay so I've already pre-made some because I don't know how to edit videos so anyway this is uh, this is three ears of corn and you simply as I say the the uh, been on your heat you can start it off on uh, when you're first starting it you can start on fairly high heat and uh, just take a big old thing of butter I would do uh, for a dozen full ears of corn I'd probably pretty much do a stick of butter for uh, can't have too much butter obviously use real butter folks don't use that damn that damn margarine stuff so it, all it is is butter and that old salt lined up some sea salt and then what you want a lot of is black pepper you cannot put too much black pepper in your uh, in your cream corn I mean I'm a southern boy we like a lot of pepper so I make this very peppercorny all right and the most important thing is no sugar so uh, let's get our corn. So you just kind of fry it in the butter. Alright, we need to turn this down. Alright, so you just get the uh, corn fried in the butter, stir up that butter, and just get it all melted around so all this is is the butter and the corn which is pretty damn delicious itself now some corn is drier than others this is I wish this corn this corn is not as juicy as I would like it so the only other uh, the only other ingredient is half and half uh, whole milk will work absolutely not um, absolutely not that two percent shit but I would uh, recommend half and half and just pour in your cream whether it's half and half or minimally whole milk stir that up now again I would, I would say I much prefer to to use pure white corn I wouldn't have this wouldn't be yellow like that and uh, there you go and can't be any easier than that guys uh, and just turn that on very low heat this very low heat and I would cook it about uh, you want to cover it I don't have a lid here but you want to put a tight fitting lid on that put it on very low heat I don't know every two or three minutes 
come and stir it, keep it from sticking on the bottom with all this cornstarch. And I would cook it about 20 minutes. And, oh man, it's already delicious. And that's it. I cook that about 20 minutes. And if you're able to, which you're not going to be, if you let it sit overnight, it is actually even better the next day. And there you go, guys. The best cream corn you will ever make in your life. Number one lesson, no sugar added. Happy corn eating. Come see us at Sandy's party and... Hambone will make a big old pot of this. Bye, guys.